got me thinking about my niggas that be locked in the wingo. Move out, show them how they single. I tell her, hey, lily, lily, now drop your tingo. Fine boy, no pimple, hey, lily, lily. She says she keep on hearing my ringtone. We're back, keeping it with Camzo, a free seat with Camzo, episode eight, racking them up, the sound of the streets and loud with a beat. Come on. Hey, listen, this one is, this one is on the record. <laughs> <laughs> this, one is, this one is on the record. On hey, the record. Hey, listen. You got hey, Malaka, man. you truly missing. Hey, Malaka, your seat is right <laughs> hey, Malaka, here. Malaka, Malaka, here. Malaka, your Malaka, seat Malaka. is right here. Malaka's here. Malaka's here. Malaka can't even do the intro, so I have to step up. But mm -hmm. yeah, man, we're back. Abrisio Akamzo, episode eight. I've got the main man in the building. You get me? Yeah. DJ Envy. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm trying to call me Envy, you know. Hey. Hey, we, got the, we got the host of the boys, the boy, your man, your king. Get me flashy silo. See how I learn. See how I learn your phrase. Hey, that's real yeah, brotherhood man. still. Yeah, man. You get me. That's man's phrase. <laughs> your boy, yeah, man. Your ass clock king, fam. What are you saying, though? I'm good, man. I'm. You saying you're trapped? Yeah. Bringing it home. It's coming oh, it's home. Fucking coming. It's, it's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. Big man thing. Sterling <laughs> gunshot on your foot. It's coming home. <laughs> I can't lie, man really got a gun tattoo, you know, he's me, man. Man, man really got a gun. Bro. You know, I won't get a gun. Hey, bro, you know what's so bad, yeah? Even though man was defending him on the TL, like, nah, man, you know, I just pick it up. Hey, bro, that's a mad move. Bro, I can't lie. For me, you're asking for it, bro. <laughs> you're dying for it, I can't lie. It's man, not making bro, sense. Man really got a strap tattoo to his calf, bro. Only Sterling can but do you that. Know, it's, it's a metaphor, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, he's a big, yeah. he's a big boy shooter, so it makes sense. Today's episode is a very diverse one. Do you get me? The topics that me and Silly was meant to talk about, we're not talking about it no more. Randomly, I had a, what were you, I had a. We meant to talk. About? We're gonna talk about Stormzy, okay, and then yeah, did it, but yeah. obviously, I was just sitting in my room getting ready, and I had a, I had a eureka moment, yeah. and I was like, you know what? I haven't had a dilemma slash unpopular opinion segment on my show yet. And I knew, like, when I put that on an Instagram yeah. story and I knew that I was going to do numbers, I just could tell, innit? Because people have a lot to say, because I have a lot to say, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this episode is going to be just full on people's opinions. I made all of you lot message me. I have my one opinion that we're going to talk about. All, come, hey, your followers, bro. Your followers are weird, <laughs> Hey, I let Silla I let Silla read it briefly Chris, bro. I love my followers there, but Nah listen They surprised Like I said Bro they surprised me I was here and seeing some mad shit People that I haven't even seen Swear in my life Was saying this guy is fucking shit I was like raw <laughs> You to me This is this is new But yeah legit I made I put out the Instagram The Instagram story About a day ago And um, I put it there I said I wanted to hear All of you lot's unpopular opinions mm. Slash dilemmas You have in regards to music mm. And you lot You lot done well I can't lie You lot gave me a lot of stuff So mm. we're gonna sit and talk about it you get me? So Silla's had a little skim. He ain't gone through all of them, so it's gonna be straight off the dome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've read them, but I haven't digested them in it, yeah, so I don't yeah. even know what it's gonna be. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna go straight in in it. So obviously the first, the first unpopular opinion. That's my opinion in it. Yeah, you already know how it goes. I believe that Daffy, yeah, Mr. Constavlos, yeah, I believe Daffy's the closest thing we have to Drake in the UK in it. Yeah. And I just think that's because I believe someone who can give you singing at an elite level. And rapping at a good enough level, which wait, is wait, also wait, elite. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. Not Define this. singing. So at an elite level. singing, bro. Like he can sing. Like bro, you can put him on. You can put him not on a vocalist, bro. Who told you this though? You can put that. Have you not seen Dappy acoustic, bro? Dappy can. Dappy can actually no, no, no. sing. He can sing, but Did for me, I'm a vocal man, innit? Okay. I like vocals, bro. Yeah. For me, what what singers is. Jasmine Sullivan. No, but yes. come on, man, <laughs> bro. I'm, bro, I'm so cool. We wanna do that, Angel. And you can't rap sing. though. And you can't rap though. No, but we're talking about singing. No, but we're talking about sing because to Drake. Drake is the first rapper Drake singing nigga. Sing, you know? Drake can sing, man. Uh, maybe not even. Come on, are you taking bro, a piss? Drake, Drake I can better hold the find notes. your love. That's singing, bro. Hold the note That's singing. That's not. You're, if you're, Jamie, you're trying to throw Drake in the same bracket as Teddy One and them, man. That can that melody that storms in. I can do a bit of melody. No, yeah, bro. It is. No, it's not. No, but man. Drake can. Uh, no, Drake the way he vocalizes, bro. He you he don't sang, bro. He he he. He holds a note, bro. It's not holding and a note. Understands. The guy can sing. Hey, listen, the guy can sing. You got you got Summer Walker. Girls, um, girls need love, whatever tune is, where Drake's on the remix, yeah? yeah. Playing games or whatever it's cool, I don't even know. Drake's on there singing, bro. Yeah. Find your love. Drake's on there singing, bro. Marvin's room. You're telling me that's not you're telling me that's that's holding bro, a note. I man, Drake, yeah. Hey bro, everyone from everyone, every man, bro, anyone who's got a Drake, high Drake, enough voice Drake, can hold a note. Like Whispery sings. No, like he's, he's remember he's a man, in it. Remember he's a man. So obviously, yeah, man's yeah, got, yeah, yeah. man's got Adam's apple. Man, man's voice has dropped. Yeah. Do you get me? His balls have dropped. But mm. 
Come on, man. The guy can sing. He can sing good enough, innit? So I'm saying for me, Dappy, and when I was thinking about it, like, raw, like, Cam, you're really saying this, like. I don't can think you, Dappy can, can sing better than Jay, though. No, 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 no. You, do you think him yeah, sing better than Jay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. No, no, I hear no. that. I can hear sing, that. Like, I, I can sing. hear that. That's mad, though, but it, I can hear that. Yeah. Dappy's winning. Le- I hear that, bro. <laughs> and I'm saying, deep it, man's in a group with a female and a man, and a man, and he is the one the singing every hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deep it, you got a female, but this I can't rap. Wait, wait. He's the hardest rapper and singer. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, man. So that's that's my reason. Yeah. In terms of success, absolutely no. He is not on Drake's level in terms of success. But in terms of the actual art and what a man mm. can do, that's why I believe that still. The slander I was getting you in the comments. Yeah. All right, cool. Joe's aside, I give Dappy's respects. Thank you, you know, very much. Dappy, bro, let's be real. All of us within our kind of age group, innit? Let's say, bro, I'll say 20 to 30. We all grew up on end up. 100%. As in, end up are always forgotten about, you know, but I feel like because they've done the pop rap thing, innit? Because they're not black. Yeah. You got, one make, you got one mixed race guy in their face. It's, it's no cap. I yeah, said yeah, that. So I, I talked to someone. Someone was, someone was like, what? Is that a narrative? You're going to run. You're going to run. I said, yeah, it is a narrative. I'm going to run. And, it's because he's not black. The ends they're from too. Like Camden's Camden. Camden. It's, 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 it's not really. The, what, who Cotton, else come from Camden? Um, yeah, ambush. That's, that's ambush, about it. Yeah. But that's like what? Like a good 10, 20 years later. Mm, mm. So it's like, yeah, that's 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 my narrative still. I feel like that's the closest thing we have to Drake, innit? And the slander I was getting in the comments and like people were saying, rah, what? Did man pay you? Because obviously, man bro, posted it. I and like he's um, other day, man sees you post like a, a bad, what's his, what's his album, bad like, intentions. A bad intention single, bro. I'm like, what? Bro, that was it. That, 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 remember that album went number one, you know? I didn't even know that. Rock, big up, that, people, that, that went number one. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. People don't know, fam. Number one in 2013. That's pre streaming era, bro. That's fucking cold. That's bro. insane that's stuff. That's what I'm cold. saying, fam. Daffy might have a spot in that mm. Mark Rushmore. Now I'm mm. chatting shit. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's Daffy. All the horses. I on your chip. <laughs> I'm trying to pause it. Not hey, the white man. I can't. That's hey. too much. That's too. I know it's coming home, but that's too far. Yeah. All right, cool. Number two, Neo Soul is shit. I didn't even. I don't even know what Neo Soul is. All right, cool. For those Explain who don't know what me. Neo Soul is, yeah. yeah. Neo Soul is I like swear, a- I thought Neo Soul was an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> that's, I hear I'm, that being se- I'm being serious. That's yeah, what Neo I Soul. Yeah, it's like a, a blend of R and B. It first came out in the late nineties, isn't it? Okay. Late nineties. Yeah. Maxwell, yeah. Erykah Badu. All yeah. Of okay. 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 Um, so that's not you're saying okay it's like it's like how it's like how drill is a sub is a sub yeah. genre of rap so it's neo soul is a, a sub genre of r&b it's yeah like if you say afro swing yeah 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 even heavy metal yeah 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 it's, facts it's, but it's, yeah. it's, it's r&b yeah. but it's like an offshoot yeah 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 but yeah. it's like mixed with a bit of jazz yeah do you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, so yeah. it's very like smooth and that yeah. erica badu man you lot know yeah erica yeah badu. yeah i don't hear erica badu that genre does not yeah yeah it's a bit it's boring if you can't i get my do you know jill scott yeah, I love. Is Jill Scott Neo Soul? I would say she's Neo Soul. Okay, then say, yeah. then they're okay. Mm. Then it's a it's a decent genre. So like whoever said that's a shit genre, that's harsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no, Neo Soul's cold. At one it, point, I was a Neo Soul man. I was one of them man, like. But Neo Soul, how do you wake up like in London with the sky like this and Neo Souls are really good? At, that's <laughs> bro, real motivating. Bro, like nice. Neo Soul was when you see the films and the, the first scene where it's sunny yeah, yeah, and then yeah, 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 my yeah, man yeah, throws yeah, the newspaper yeah. at the guy yeah. and he can't thank you very much. Neo Souls are very um. It's a weird genre, man. I just feel like it's them. It, you, you associate Neo Soul with happiness, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. very smooth, and, like and it's happiness. Very, um, sheer butter. Yeah, it's very sheer. Yeah, like I don't you wear. I don't wear makeup. Like I don't. I don't take. Medicine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah, what I'm armpit hair and that. Get me, man. Shower, like, shower, like, like Erica Badu, she looks like she's pretty, but she looks weird. Like, like her Erica eyes. Badu looks like she. She. You get me. Yeah, she crackers whack, but. <laughs> But, hey, no, but that's, that's the Erica, Erica oh, Badu. Yeah, no, I hear it still. Mm. So Neo Soul, I'm learning. I didn't know Neo Soul. I swear yeah. to God, when I saw that, I still legit thought Neo Soul was an artist. And I was thinking, okay, yeah. cool. That's Carl. Kind of, Neo Soul is shit. I love if I haven't, heard, Soul, if I haven't heard of him, then he must be shit. That's, that's legit what I thought of. But yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So Neo Soul, nah. Yeah. Whoever said Neo Soul is shit, I don't agree with you. I can't lie. Neo yeah, Soul is yeah. a decent genre. Dilemma two. Uh-huh. Nines has never dropped a great project. Bro. First of all, whoever said that, stop seeking attention. You know? <laughs> honestly, they wanted to get picks. Yeah, they wanted to get picks. But what do you classify as great? No, let's not do. Not that. good. Not good. Let's. This this dilemma should be boom. Next dilemma. Uh, nah, this is bullshit, bro. <laughs> Nines, bro. Let's be real, bro. He's dropped the, some of the hardest projects I've ever heard in my life across all genres. Man. So okay, cool. Let's so do that. okay, let's let's break it down. Yeah. When you hear the word great, yeah. what do you associate great with? Um, what projects? Yeah, like no, no, the word great. Oh, great. Um, 
Like as in uh, longevity. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Timeless. Okay. Timeless. Um, okay. Colorful. Yeah. 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 Hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. percent. Hundred percent. Like I'm stepping into a man's world. Mm. You get me? Man, mm. not just throw that that word great around, bro. Mm. But mm. nines, bro. At least you know what's yeah with nines. I feel like at least three projects max are great. The rest are good. I've got two. I've yeah. I I, I can hear two. I've got two. two. I've got Church, three. Church Road. Yeah. Church Road to the Hollywood mm. and one foot. In one yeah. foot, one foot out. Which one's the first one? I was getting mixed one, up. Mm, one foot in. One foot in is the first one, isn't it? O fifteen. Yeah, SPTV. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 all I've got for great in it. Yeah, like the crop circle was just okay. Yeah, one foot out was not it for me at all. Bro, I love one foot out. I didn't like. Remember, I remember one foot out that came out 017 I remember clearly came yeah. out. Yeah, all the man was all in was all in yeah. Leicester. Was all waiting twelve a.m. Spotify. <laughs> put on the TV. Everyone yeah. sat. Okay, <laughs> it was very underwhelming. Like, nah, no, but nah. Nines isn't that man that you listen to to, to like, make you feel like, ah, yeah. yeah, 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 hundred percent. So yeah. yeah, nah, Nines hasn't dropped a great project. Ugh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did agree in it. Like, but I hear it in it. I'm not yeah. the one that said it, but I hear, I hear the, I hear the conversation. And you know is, like people always have different um, picks to which which one is their favorite Nas um, Nas, you know, Nines. Album. Stop it, stop it. Yeah. This Nas promoting. Stop, you're getting me mad. Chill, man's got two Nas. Man was on the phone yesterday. Man's got two. Man's got two Nas vinyls. What? What's getting on, hey, like, bro? Nas he's New, dog, he's New bro. York. He's New. <laughs> Nas, hey, my New York. Hey, I come like I'm from New York. You know what the fuck, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. Yeah, nah, obviously, everyone's got different picks to what's their favorite um nines project in it. Yeah. Sometimes I hear Gone to November Church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Sometimes that's I how you know. Crop circle. Yeah, no, nah, it's true. It's great, true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. So that that was yeah. very hard. That was very hard. That could have yeah. got skipped, but obviously, you know, mm. people fought in it. I hear mm. it. Dilemma number three. Okay. You know what's so crazy though? Mm. I've never really heard you ever speak about Afrobeats. Yeah, Afrobeats. I'm not too fond of it. Why? I've only warmed up to it in the past couple of years. Why? When it became more vibey. Why? Because I feel like the the what there's not a warriors what ruined it for me, bro. <laughs> like, I don't like the man that dancing that in raves, bro. I just don't like them, man. Bro. <laughs> but I ain't seen that in a minute. Maybe because of COVID. No, I ain't seen it in a minute. But like white jeans, I feel like white Apple jeans, are not easy. On from the dancing thing, I get it's it. More of a, it's, it's, I think it's, it's got, the PTSD it, thing. It's gone back to like filler. filler yeah, 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 soulful yeah, again. The white, more, the white jeans and red Giuseppe's yeah, and silk shirt. You're sweating yeah, and that. Them yeah, niggas with high tops. Yeah, yeah. They it, kind of ruined it. It's gone back to our parents' generation now. Like mm, as in the soulful. But I don't like that. You know, I love it. Which leads me into into the next dilemma. The next dilemma, well, on popular opinion, is. Burner Boy is great, but Whiskey is better. Kind of self-explanatory, okay. but I don't. Yeah, like I hear it, but mm. I don't think I don't. I can't really throw Burner Boy into that great status just yet. I I agree. I agree. Not yet. I feel like because no, but you're though. We're only saying that because we've seen Whiskey from yeah, way back. Way back. From when my, my but man, but I don't. But the thing is, that's man. I don't like Whiskey no more. Ask everyone. Really? I've been talking. I don't like see Whiskey's tape. Yeah. That like, last project. Yeah, made Maybe. in Lagos. It's crazy, but that's not why I listen to Afro beats. Like, bro, let yeah, me tell you, let me yeah, tell you how real it is. Yeah. yeah, if you, bro, you see all the Whiskey streams and fans and that. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, fam, all these followers and that, bro, they're all from the UK, you know. Yeah, they're, they're all from the UK, the America, Amsterdam. Bro, there's none in Nigeria. Bro, there's none in Nigeria, Nigerian, bro. Yeah, like the Nigerian community. Do you lot like put? Do you guys give Whiskey these respect? Okay, cool. I feel like you guys in the UK, in the UK, yeah. they do in it. And I no, feel no, like that's bro, like Nigeria. Nigeria. No, bro. I'm telling they you, you see when I went to Nigeria, I went to Nigeria in December, yeah. See when I went yeah. to Nigeria, bro. You think they're playing Whiskey, bro? They're not bro, they're playing they're playing Nara Mali and David o, bro. Because they want to hear the gritty stuff. Nigeria Nigeria is a, is bro, it's not I don't want to say third world country, but Nigeria, a lot of the people are that's like, got a low GDPR in it. Yeah, a lot of people in Nigeria. Are, yeah, I guess yeah, so they're yeah, suffering, yeah. innit? You think they got time to be hearing yeah, yeah. <laughs> Violins and that, like baby, like, no, like yeah, no, Afro- bro. That's thank you very yeah. much, bro. You put it yeah, in a yeah, nutshell, yeah, bro. Yeah. Whiskey is now making luxury yeah, Afro yeah, beats. Yeah. I can't tell him not to because that's where you're gonna secure your bag, mm. and that's the music you wanna make. Why should you? But you there's know, no- Whiskey has never been that guy to make gritty Afro beats. Yes, he has. The no, because from what I remember, yeah, so from Whiskey Superstar, was, Whiskey was a like a more bubblegum Afrobeats. It was like it was like I know what you mean. So when Whiskey first started, like, it was, he more, was more with the P square uh, Yeah, kind of be like American kind of. But yeah. at the same time, if you listen to that album, yeah, there's still some gritty mm. tunes on there. But now and bro, even when you hit, if you go to Whiskey's show, like bro, he performs like one or two of them. Like yeah. whereas David, for example, no matter what, he will still give you that gritty sound, innit? I feel like you lot love David or like the Nigerians, Nigerians. I feel like. David, you know what's so crazy? Yeah, yeah David, David, 
yeah, guy. that's our guy. And you know what's so crazy? Because David, o, it should be the other way around. Because David, remember, David o had a good upbringing, didn't yeah, it? Remember, yeah. his parents are caked. Oh. Like he, he was born, in, he lived in America. So ACL, you would think, it? yeah, ACL, you would think that he would be the guy to try and jump down that. But maybe because he can't, innit? Mm. Maybe he ain't got the voice or the or the mind for it. But it's been the other way around. Whisked, who didn't necessarily have like a good upbringing, whatever. He's the one making that soulful sound. But I think this could Whisked looks up to fellow Kutsi, innit? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, it, ma- it kind of makes sense. I think he jacks fellas thing a bit too much. Mark, even when I went Afro Nation, yeah, when yeah. I was in VIP, yeah, brother, was just walking with um, fellow like, Kutsi's son, that like, was yeah. walking with him, like, he proper. Yeah, that, yeah, and yeah, I, I don't yeah, want to yeah. hear that. I can't lie, for me, yeah, I feel like it goes Whisked. Um, uh, David Orr and, and then Burner. Mm. I, I love Burner though. That's the thing. Burner, bro, he is my guy, man. I just don't know. But I feel like the, 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 the sound, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy is just like, it's not Afrobeats. No, bro, man's got a tune with Chris Martin, bro. Mm. For I get it. As, you know what it is? Mm. Everything that man's saying right now is coming from a very selfish point of view. And I can accept that. It is coming from a selfish point Burn of view. I think Burn is very um, westernised. Yeah, very westernised, yeah, bro. Yeah, very very west. Because, bro, when I heard Did his, you... like, uh, like uh, twice at all, I had that, we had that talk. Me and Sweeney had that talk on my first ever pod, yeah. That's what we spoke about, Burn the Boys album, yeah. It didn't. It, it couldn't. Like, it yeah, just yeah, didn't yeah. hit for me at all. Yeah. Do you get me? That's why I'm saying I don't necessarily feel like he's great. He's good, innit? But you, how can I say he's not great when if you think of Afrobeats, he's one of the yeah. first people that comes to your head. Do you get me? And there's loads yeah, of Afrobeat yeah, yeah. artists out there, innit? So it's techie. Obviously, Whiskey is better, but is Burner Boy great? Yes. Burner no. Boy is no doubt great, but Whiskey is better. Mm. And I feel like Whiskey, we've seen his, his, his progression. Yeah. And I feel like we've kind of, we've now seen him blossom. Yeah. It's like, damn, yeah, like, damn. you really Look done it, you. bro. 24 of June, 24 of June. Bro, man made a beautiful <laughs> album, bro. I would say um, last year, his album and um, his album and Benny the Butcher's album were my favorite albums. Is it? Year. So you actually in, fucked with Made in, uh, Made in Lagos like that? Made in Lagos, as in it's a thing where if it's sunny outside right now in London, yeah, or, I get stick. That's what I'm saying. I I'm get playing that. Yeah, I get stick because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not what I play. Yeah, I play yeah. David O's album, innit? Yeah. Do you get me? I'm a better yeah. time, a better see, a better time, innit? Because when I went to that's all I was hearing. Mm. So before I went to Nigel, I wasn't, bro, before I went to Nigel, I probably had like two songs from that album on my yeah. phone, innit? When I came out from Nigel, I had basically the whole album on my phone. So, they, so in, in, in Nigeria, David O's that guy. David, Nair Marley's the guy. Now yeah, Marley's number one. Yeah, now Marley's number one, by the way. Yeah, he's number one. Yeah, yeah, Dennis yeah, David yeah. and Dennis yeah. Whiskey and then Dennis Burda Boy, Dennis Whiskey. That's how. That's what I, I feel. Like it's, it's, it's the same comparison from when you say outside of the UK, they will see Stormzy, J. Huff, yeah, Skepta, yeah, 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 yeah. But we like. Anyone, DB, yeah, yeah, DB, yeah, yeah, it's true you know I mean? because that's more, yeah, 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 hundred percent, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. I get it. that. It, it that makes sense to me mm. still, but yeah, um, <laughs> another. <one. laughs> <laughs> this one's funny. Sweetie is one of the best female artists in the USA. She is absolutely tragic. I see, bro. Yeah. The person that asked me this question, they, I know who it is. They asked me on purpose because they wanted to see my reaction. I think she's so. You know, what I think she's so. Let me tell you what it is. Yeah, you see how you see me post Steph London all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before you knew me, before you knew me, yeah. I used to post Sweetie like that, innit? Yeah. Like that's your, that was like my wallpaper and that. I used to post yeah. that everywhere, like on the gram and that, follow her and that. Then she brought out one freestyle. Yeah. And the freestyle, bro, again, man, it, it threw me off, bro. She's sick, she, bro. Yeah. There's one tune that she's got, like, the, the video is probably so, like, high budget, probably like minimum 200, 300 racks on that mm. video, yeah. The song is so bad. Mm. I'm telling you right now for free, she was not pretty. Mm. But obviously, it's hard to say at this point because a lot of female rappers, yeah, yeah but I'm telling you, her one, yeah. bro, if she was half as pretty as she is yeah. right now, there is absolutely yeah, yeah, no that's way that's her name would be thrown in the mix. You know, sweetie, yeah. Um, you know, sweetie, before she blew up, blew up. Yeah. She had like a couple freestyles. She had that cold, freestyle, the icy bro. girl one. Yeah, that's how, my, that's how everyone knew about her, bro. I can't lie. That's how, yeah. I'll be the first guy to say it, it, was, it was It was and good. Will play it it was good. Yes. Yeah, bro, don't worry. I got, don't worry. Yeah, shit. I got you, bro. You're good. You're good. You're not alone. I, bro, I was bro, there. Sweetie, yeah. She has that. Like, as in, she bought something, when she first came, she bought something fresh to the female scene, innit? Yeah. And it was that West Coast, West Coast bounce. Mm. Do you know what I mean? She bought that West Coast bounce. And then you thought. And it, I ignored, I ignored how lame she was. Yeah, okay. she could, like, she, 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 didn't, have a bo- she, she didn't have her body done them times. Though. She didn't have her body done, but I feel like, those the, the, the ice girl freestyle. Yeah, it was, was good enough. Like, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah, fresh. I'm not yeah, just saying bare pussy yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously she went mainstream, man. We know how the story yeah, goes, innit? Yeah, but I feel yeah. like Sweetie, she's the, she's the hardest. You see, yeah, I put in, a, I put rappers in the category. 
I feel like certain rappers are the hardest trash rappers. Like Soldier Boy, he's the he's the best ever trash rapper. Ever had, <laughs> okay, Sweetie's the hardest trash female the rapper we have. Most yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. most definitely, yeah. most definitely. I think Sweetie is shocking. Cardi's there too. Cardi, no, Cardi can spit. Cardi can don't spin. don't do that. Because we'll be if our Card, Cardi's hard. Ghost but, right, but she can spit. Uh uh-uh. uh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't know that though. Nah, 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 let's be real, bro. Little right, cool. huh. had a ghostwriter, bro. So Nicki Minaj's got one too. Nicki, Nicki was Safari, bro. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. These females, they don't have, they don't write. <laughs> How are you a thinking it? Don't write All right, cool, fair enough. None of them. <laughs> None of them. None of you lot. Hey, it's still selling the woman month. None of you don't <laughs> write your bars. Hey, agenda. All right, cool. Say that. Cool. So we, that's you done, isn't it? Cool. Next one. I don't want to talk about this one for too long. I know yeah, we yeah, might. Yeah. Russ deserves his flowers now. Okay. Yeah, kind of self explanatory. He's, he's been deserving. Yeah, flowers. yeah. I, agree. I feel like he's got his flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. We haven't even talked about that too tough. Yeah, that's calm. Mm. Russ has these flowers. Fredo's albums are terrible, but his singles are fire. True. False. Yeah. False. I don't agree. True, true. Because Money Can't Buy Happiness, good album, not superb. Um, Third Avenue, my favorite out of his albums. I just don't get why you keep I saying know, that's your know, favorite, though. Because. I kind of, when, when, I think after Third Avenue, he started doing the Hickory Dickory Dock and that, innit? Yeah. So I was kind of reminiscing on Third Avenue a lot mm. of the time, innit? But even, even the tunes on there were terrible, man. On Third Avenue, like, though, it was not good. That, like, he knew. He, bro, this? come on, bro. Think about it. This is how it works with Fredo. Yeah. Fredo jumped into the scene in 2016. Mm. Yeah. His first, his first video, mm. yeah, was uh, Day 100. His first song mm. was um, Whipping, Whipping, Whipping in the Kitchen. I forgot what it was called. Yeah. That was his first song, innit? Straight bangers, yeah. clean like elevation. That's yeah. why I was gonna talk about it because yeah, his run has been clean as run. Yeah, yeah, cool. So 2016, then he brought out his mixtape, um, Get Rich or Get Recall in 2017. I think a near classic, a near very near classic, especially the nostalgia. Probably a classic. I hear that 100. Yeah. percent Then, yeah, yeah. then that's 2017. Yeah, so that's 16, 17. Then yeah. 18, he brought out um the the oh I always forget the names, but the the new one, the yeah, first yeah, yeah. one was Sony. Yeah. yeah, and then oh 19, he brought out Third Avenue. Yeah, yeah. then he had a break, yeah. and he knows why he had that yeah, break yeah, 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 because yeah. Third Avenue didn't do what it should have done. Yeah. That's my opinion, innit? And I I did not. I've got like Third two Avenue songs. Was since 93, innit? Yeah, no, but um, since 93 was Third Avenue and the one before. Yeah, yeah and the one before. Both of them were both of them were Third Avenue, but it's like. I know that he knows that Third Avenue didn't do what it should have done. Yeah. Hence why he had that break, that little self self like self um actualization. He yeah. had to sit down and think. Yeah. Like, rah, what's really going on? Man's losing oh, my okay, fans. Table's turn. Table's turn, that's that it. Hard. That was that was very cold, that bro. That's very that's hard. almost on a level of get rich or get recalled, but it's I not. Think, I think that's what propelled him. Hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah, Cause yeah, remember yeah. Fredo Fredo used to say that he doesn't like he doesn't say any UK rappers, isn't it? Really? Yeah. He said, doesn't say no UK rappers. So when I saw the tune with notes, I was like, raw. Mm. Like, do you get me? Like, that's that's certain. Do you get me? Then he had a tune with designer, but it got pulled down. Do you remember that? Oh, uh, designer Davies. Yeah. And it got pulled down. Designer, designer like, said, yeah. I ain't never. I ain't never made a tune with my homie Davies. <laughs> I said, I ain't never made a song with my homie Davies. Nigga, bro, that nigga. Is so bad. That is so King bad. Is, he wouldn't do that now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't do that now, but yeah, that and was Davies like. Spun that. He's funny. I don't even remember hearing the song. Yeah, I was at the time I was up. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's your only UK show, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, not like that, but I'm saying like US artists like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I said Dave East. I wish I could go shows more, but I don't. So the dead ones. But yeah, so nah, I don't agree. You agree in it. I don't yeah, yeah. I don't I think he's I think it's okay. I feel like his singles like when you hear his albums, it it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily disappoint you, but yeah. it's kind of underwhelming to a degree because the singles yeah, are fire, they are fire, mm-hmm. and then the mixtape and the, or the album is not yeah. on the same level as that. So I, I kind of hear I, it from even when he first came out, twenty sixteen. I was never a big Fredo fan, innit? Mm. But I do agree with that statement. I do think he's his album. What 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 was it again? Um, what which album? He's, oh oh yeah, that Fredo's albums are terrible, but his singles are fire. I don't think they're terrible. I think they're they're average. Yeah, album. they're okay. They're like six, 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 six or six point five. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Cool. Lancey folks is before his time. Do you know who that is? Yeah. You know who that is, isn't it? I love him, man. It's cold. He is very. very he is hard. in um, another country. He'll be in another level. What does what what does my man mean before his time? Though? So I feel like because he doesn't get his flowers, isn't it? Remember, uh, like not a lot of people. He's ahead he did, of his time. So he's before his time in terms of like, now was his time, okay. but he started too late. Okay, okay. He started too oh, early, he started too early. Too early Do you yeah, get it? Remember, yeah, yeah. he started in like 016. So- What's that tune? Uh, I like her. I like, so, so come on like bro, it. that was in every party. Yeah. So definitely I hear that statement that he's before his time still. If he was to have, have dropped yeah. now, 
You never know. But but one thing I would say, yeah, like I know a couple of people in ATL and that, like they love Lance. Yeah, bro, he's doing. Sh- he's on. Um, he's on the Rolling Loud list. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, on the Rolling Loud list, bro. America, by the yeah, way. Yeah, America. Yeah, not not uh, not yeah, not not like the Portugal thing. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. on the American <laughs> thing. Nah, no offense, but I'm just saying. <laughs> he's not on the. You got Rolling IVD. Loud you got IVD in that one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm trying to cheat. I'm oh. trying to cheat. But yeah, nah, legit. I mean, yeah, me, I love it. Yeah, me. <laughs> I love it. WCW. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, nah, legit. Yeah, Lance, yeah, he's on the Miami thing, isn't it? Mm. Do you get me? So that's that's big. Yeah, I feel like um, he had the he had the young Skeptus cosign. Definitely yeah, yeah. helped. I think Lancey, yeah, Lancey, he people like to say, oh, he's the UK young fuck. Fam, he's the UK Lancey, man. Fuck fuck compare it. Nah, he's not he's not he's not a fuck. Yeah. He's not as good as fuck. And anyway. I think him and fucks are different. Just because they look alike, because they have both had dreads. Exactly. And they're yeah, both tall, skin, and, and black. Weird, yeah, they're a bit quirky. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, no, nah, Lancey, Lancey, um definitely all before his time. Mm. Um I like Lancey a lot. And obviously he gets a lot of these respects in America, innit? Mm. That like, as in Normal civilians, bro. They love Lancey. that's that's what you need, and you know the yeah. UK. Once yeah. they see another country breeding you, that's how we bred you. Mm-hmm. Naramali we wasn't breeding him. Yeah. Then when the, when the yeah. Nigerians started breading him, then we started breading him. Yeah. No, 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 no. We we appreciate him. Now. We are, no, we we thought he was good enough, but not we didn't bred him like how they bred him. And why? Man, uh, why, China, bro? Th- that's it. Is that the only thing we dropped? No, but, I mean, no, but I'm telling you, nah, bro. I'm telling you because, bro, like. If Naramali didn't go to Nigeria, he wouldn't have been able to have the show he had in the UK. True, 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 Do you true, get me? True, true. It, bro, it took it took Naramali going to Nigeria for mm. our parents to know about Naramali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, get me? Yeah. Like, my mum, my auntie, but I, even when I went to Nigeria, like, mm. they'll be like, I'll be like to them, yeah, I'm guess. I'll be like, yeah. Him? Yeah, bro. I'll be like to them, oh, you know he's from the UK? They're like, yeah, we know. Like, they're like, you lot didn't appreciate him. That's why we took him in. I'm yeah, like, it's yeah. true, man. It's fine. 100%. But yeah, man. Um, K Trap is going to change the drill scene. No, no, he could have done it. He he kind of mm. nah. He didn't even change it. Technically, he kind of did already, but he didn't. By the club, no one, no showing one... showing that it's possible to do it in a balaclava, most definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah most yeah. definitely. Therefore. No, but yeah, the, yeah. That, that argument is there, but then you've got Emhancho too, isn't it? Like, K was K Chat was prior. Was uh, about the same time though. Yes, yeah. kind. But who did you know about first? Uh, M. Hunter was 017. Yeah, yeah. K. Chat was 015, 016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As in, he was with like in 6 7. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's a driller, innit? M. Hunter wasn't <laughs> drilling. He yeah, was just yeah. trying to hide his face. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. get me? Like, but M. Hunter, um, K. Chat was hiding his face because he had to. Well, he yeah. felt like he had to hide his face, yeah. and you get me because of all the cases and that. But nah, he's not going to change the drill scene. K. Trap, K. Trap, as in him not changing the drill scene, not take away from the fact that he is still probably top three undisputed in drill, UK drill. Of all time. Of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, as Who, who's, your top, who's your top three? Ooh. I have mine. I would say Henny One. Yeah. K Trap. Yeah. And um, Reeks MB. Oh, uh. Reeks MB. When he was, when he had these hot patch, yeah, that yeah. was my fucking guy, man. I uh, swear to nah, God. I, yeah. I, oh, I would say got, LD, but. Nah, we got to. Uh, that's a statement, no, but. It's a for me, it's, 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 as much as I hate to say it, it's, it's Henny. K trap and Lowski still, yeah, oh, that's my Lowski because Lowski had it, five he me. had it in his hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. 07, yeah. 0, 16, 0, 17, it he was in his the hand, flow. he changed, he the, changed flow. the flow, yeah, 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 he yeah, made yeah, drill yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Lowski is the one that made girls listen to drill, yes. Like yes. everyone saying all these names, all these splash, Shankar chocolate Dash, darling. Chocolate Darling. Yes. Come on, man. Yeah, from, like, take away all the, take away your mindset about him, all the personal opinions. Yeah. Look at the art and look yes. what he's done for the game. 100%. I, agree. 100%. Uh, no, I would he, say him and, um, him and, um, Reeks MB are transferable for me. Innit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. For me, it's not a Reeks MB thing still. It's not. Like, yeah. But for me, Reeks MB, the reason that, because my favorite song is no one's favorite song. Like, so everyone be like, Blue, but I'll be like, no, my favorite song is Blocker. That's yeah, yeah, my favorite yeah, yeah, tune yeah, from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day. Every Mine day. is COD, Livewire. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cold, yeah. Cold. yeah, Blocker and the team of LD as well is cold. Yeah. But yeah, legit. So yeah. I hear that. But no, no way is he going to change the drill scene. No way. Yeah. Craig David is the inspiration for Drake's early music. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what is When I saw that, yeah, I was thinking like, you know what, yeah? Seven days, like, yeah, we all need to I'm, I'm going to get back for this one. Go on, talk to I us. I hear it. I, re- I really do hear it. Like, as in the... um. Craig David to me, he can't sing the same way Drake to me can't Drake, sing. Yeah, Kate, yeah like, David, you said, like you said earlier, Craig David can hold a note. He can hold a note and he can way, melodize. Yes. Like, anyone can do that. And to me, Drake and Craig David, yeah, are the they same. are a vibe. As in, they, they say things, yeah, that are just bare, like, relatable. Relatable. That, yeah. Ma- I That's easy. Say. 
but it's not it's easy but not easy at the same time it's easy it's easy to catch along it's easy to sing to it's not too yeah. technical but it's like and it's even a thing where craig david like i'm, I'm sure jake drake is such a music head you can yeah. just tell in it yeah yeah but yeah, i feel yeah. like craig david he um like even the way he name drops girls in his song yeah yeah. Drake does that. Yeah. What does that equal? Relatability. You Fucking. Got, you got to big him up, man. He was just, he was like the first guy to, from, to my knowledge, the first guy to actually break out in my lifetime anyway to break out into America. First was um, Mac Morrison with mm. Return of the Mac. Yeah. He's from the UK. Yeah, he's from the. You know, fair man. No one knows that, innit? I find that so mad. He's from the UK, the the man. Man. Yeah, he's from the UK still. And Mac Morrison was the first person to break out into America. <laughs> so then it was Craig David for me, innit? Mm. So, like, what, what, as in from what you from, can remember, yeah, from what oh, I can okay, remember. Okay. Obviously, you've got the uh, like Spice Girls and that, but you so got my, um, Slick Rick from the UK, bro. Slick Rick's from Mitchum, <laughs> <laughs> Slick Rick, hip hop legend, hip hop legend. He's from Mitchum, bro. And he reps it hard, you know. <laughs> I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know, but yeah, yeah, so yeah, it was Matt and then it was Craig David, so yeah, that's why I, I hear it. Yeah. I like Craig David, man. I, I love, think I, I think he's there. Him. Is he Drake's inspiration? I just don't think so because of just how great Drake is. Isn't it? I'll say one of. I'll say Drake's got probably a hundred inspirations, inspirations. maybe yeah, even two hundred. It's like if we had a, a branch here, yeah, we'll there'll be enough guys to, yeah, to yeah, dissect. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, this is a good one. Western are a better group than NSG, and should be bigger than them too. Ooh, I don't agree. I don't agree. Wait, wait, why don't you agree? Because they're carried, isn't it? NSG's not carried. Western is carried. By who? Haley. Yeah. Haley. Yeah, bro. You don't think they're you don't think they're carried nah, by Haley? Nah. You don't think so? Haley, sorry, Haley. Nah. You don't think they're carried That's that's my opinion, isn't it? Do you get me? Yeah. But I cause I think like I remember my one episode I had here. Nah. I said, Cause I feel like Haley, I've I've heard Haley on solo hooks. And I feel like if Western were a bit more involved in that song, like, I think he's got a song with Heddy. I feel like it would have been different. Nah. Same way Migos, when Offset does his own thing, um, Quavo, they all do their own thing. It's not the same when yeah, it's, it's the Migos. Same. Yeah, when it's all three of them. Like, Western, yeah. I feel like Akel and um, and Louis Ray, yeah, they really do add something to it. But what I'm trying to say is, you mm. see how Akel yeah. done that stint, yeah? And it was it was just Heidi and Louis Ray, mm. yeah? You're <laughs> telling me right now that you feel like if, if, if Heidi went inside, that Louis Ray and Akel could have carried it. No nah. flipping way. I don't think they would. I don't exactly. Think they and I'm telling you right now, even though Pappy, not Pappy Abs, what's that? What's the guy that's J Five's brother's name? Uh, um, Pappy something. Yeah, I know man, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an assignment to remember those names, so you can't even look at us mad. But the, <laughs> the guy, J Five's brother, um, I know he's that like, the main guy in it with the dreads and that. I not even know he was his brother. Bro. Is it? You yeah, don't know. Bro. He's in a Dimension video as well. Yeah. But if he went to jail. They would, and you can, I don't feel like any yeah. of them getting in jail would affect them. I feel like they can still do their thing. Yeah. But it's different because there's six of them, innit? Yeah. Do you get me? But, nah, man. I don't feel I, like they I, should I be think, bigger. I think, I think Western are a better group. Um, but it's very tight, though. Yeah. It's very t- as in, it's, both of them give us summer vibes. Yeah. Without, I, without both of them, if we don't yeah. have none of them releasing a song for the summer, yeah. the summer's... Yeah, no, nah, facts, facts. They're both very, yeah, they're both yeah, very yeah, useful. Yeah. I just feel like they're both where they are. And it's fine. And the you get what I'm saying? Far, it's perfect. It's perfect. Like no one wants to be above yeah, yeah, anyone. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. No one. They're not. They're not overrated. Nor yeah, are they yeah, underrated. Yeah. It's just like they're just good. However, I do think Western do give us more variety of vibes. Yeah, because they're not. They're yeah, not I feel like Western, though, Western are more colorful. And one thing I said, yeah, I feel like Western make music for the sun. Like yeah. their music sounds like the sun. Yeah, and that's and, and is <laughs> yeah. that is that what yeah. an artist should do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you're gonna yeah, if yeah. you're gonna be an artist that makes music for the sun, that means that you have to I bring out like a banger. Don't make music for the sun, because they, they make music they for any weather. A, a bit they make music for any weather. Yeah, exactly. Cause Cause and that's what I'm saying. For the sun, no way. Yeah. And that's but Western yeah. do in it. So it's like if and if you're gonna do that, that means that the song that you bring yeah. out every summer yeah. has to be top tier. Yeah. And if it's just like a seven or six out of ten, it's not good enough. Yeah. Let's be honest, because what. We got that, and then what about that? What, what, what about all the other months in a year? Yeah, it's not good yeah, enough yeah, still. So yeah, no, I'm not gonna hear yeah, that. Yeah. But they are good. I respect yeah. them. I rate them. I rate their hustle from 015 till now. I feel like get me? Western, yeah. I feel like they feel like everyone's waiting on them to slip up. But I feel like Western keep proving everyone wrong. Like as in every song they release is decent. It, yeah, I think yeah. it's not better. It's not worse. It's just always. I feel like Harley it's always is, good enough. I feel like Harley is way more versatile. Than sorry, sorry, give sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm bugging out. Not Western. Sorry, NSG. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, NSG. okay. I feel okay. like every song they do. Release, yes, yes. That's what. That's what I was quite. Yes, never yes. Worse. people are waiting for them to fall off. I feel like people, people don't. You know yeah. what's so crazy? People, people. This is what I mean about the UK. People are bad minded in the UK, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you know how long NSG been making music for? <sighs> and it's only now that you're hating on them, saying that raw because now they're in the public eye. Bro, that is bad. They were coming up when your brothers and that were coming up. Bro, they were coming up with nine man. 
in their group, bro. There was like nine of them and that. We didn't even know who was who. And now there's six of them, a solid group. They're doing their yeah. thing. They're shooting on a block. Yeah. They're not signed. Yeah. They're shooting in oh, the same. They're not, they're not signed. They're independent, bro. Yeah. Bro, they're come shoot. on. They're doing their thing, man. But people want to hate. Yeah. Same things like this. It's yeah, just yeah. bad. It just goes to show you what the UK is like, innit? That's that. Um, Fredo is currently the best gangster rapper in the UK. No. What the fuck? No, man. Who is then? Bro, put some respect on my nigga Blade Brown. Blade Brown. He is the hardest. You know, it's Blade Brown. I feel like he's been in the game so long, we forget that he's a gangster rapper, but of course he switched it to kind of the luxury kind of thing, innit? But Blade Brown is the hardest gangster rapper. Even to me, Fredo is not, isn't as hardcore as everyone seems he is. He was back then. I feel like with um, Get The Pot, They Ain't 100, all of that, that was... Get me like Fredo, Fredo, but I feel like with um, with with Blade Brown, bro, every bags and boxes tape we've had. Do you feel like one team. question about Blade Brown that I wanna? I, I rate Blade, Blade Brown. Brown, bro. I rate, I rate Blade Brown, bro. I went to his pool bro, party. Bro, Asco, I would say Asco's gangster rap too. But what I wanna ask you is, a, I wanna ask you a good question here. Do you feel like yeah. yeah? This is a mad question. This came in my head right now. But I feel like Blade Brown, yeah. The reason why we yeah. respect, the reason why we rate and even listen to his music so much is because of the persona and the image we have of him in it. Mm. So I'm saying right now, do you feel like if you saw Blade Brown get him bang that like, bow bow on the street, like someone's punching him up, a video but came out? No, but no, it's not happening. Yeah. But I'm saying, and he now brought out a song. Would it slap for you the way it should? It wouldn't. Exactly. But I'm saying right now, if we saw Fredo get into beef, yeah, yeah. yeah. you would still listen to Fredo the same way because you I, actually yeah. because you actually like his music, and it's not a bad thing because you know what yeah. I'm saying in this music age in 2021 yeah. bro you need a persona behind you yeah, if you don't yeah. stand for something yeah. you got nothing in it yeah. hence why we have the conversation about J Huss and Mo Stack in it because yeah. talent wise yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not too far off but yeah, because not... J Huss stands for something all of this stuff even all the juju stuff all of that yeah, mad yeah. stuff it makes it's you just, intrigued like, as in, yeah. uh, Mo Stack don't really have a brand in it yeah so it's like J Huss brand is the judge too yeah yeah, yeah black Africa. people yeah do you get me yeah, whereas yeah. Mo Stack is just the vibes yeah, yeah, do you get me so I'm saying right now with Blade Brown if you were to if if you took that stigma of this big, he's the no, biggest boss we have in the UK what, yeah. and just the music, yeah. would you still have the same mindset towards the sound? I don't think so. I wouldn't, but that's the whole point of gangster music. True, true, gangster rap. true, true, Bro, true. It's about you staying true to it. True. So Fredo, can I really put him in? Let me I think it is, I think I it like is. I can't put Fredo in that bracket, yeah, but I feel like you're right. If Fredo were to get banged tomorrow, I will still listen to Fredo tune same way I was listening to it two days ago. Exactly. Blade Brown, I wouldn't listen you to it the same to it. way. Yeah, it would be but so that, shocking for you. That just proves that Blade Brown is the better yeah. gangster rapper. Because I believe it more. Because being a gangster, it's if true. If I believe it more, that it's means true. you're the better gangster it's true. rapper, It's true, it's true, it's true. It has to so be the, the case. But it, the greatest gangster rapper we have at the moment. All right, cool. Fair yeah, enough. Who do you think I hear it. Nah, because I would have thought Fredo, isn't it? Would you say Nines is a gangster rapper? No. You always are. Nah. I don't think Nines is a, is a gangster. I just think he's a big boy trapper, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that don't make yeah, you a gangster. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Like, I just think you're a trapper. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Babe Brown is a gangster. Yeah, yeah, he's a boss. Yeah, 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 like, he's yeah. getting shit done. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's, the, that's the stigma I have a Blade Brown, isn't it? Do you get me? But yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, B Young is underrated. Yes. Highly, highly underrated. And it's mm. only because, one thing, he's not black. He's not black. And I can't lie, we got this thing in the UK, yeah. I'm happy that my nigga can jump on them. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, bro. Man is not afraid, bro. I'm telling you, fam. It don't make, bro. You can't call me anything. Let me be real, yeah. Like, I feel like I said it on off the record as well, innit? Uh, I said, in in the UK, this ain't America. uh, As in white people, black people, we're all... Let me not say we're all the same. Eh? We're not all the same. But as in, you calm in, down, in, in, down, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in the hood, bro, we all kind of mix. Yeah, bro. It? As in, it's not a black hood, bro. It's mixed. So bro. when men are doing this race thing and they're not kind of appreciate. By the way, I'm not saying it's by force to appreciate certain artists in it. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, subconsciously, you're not you're not appreciating a certain artist because yeah, he's not because black. It, yeah. And I feel like B Young, bro. I feel like he actually kind of carries. The Afro swing scene he, right The guy's now. good. He is a fucking. If he vibe, if he bro. brought out if he brought yeah. out consistently, yeah. he would have been the only person to con- to contest Fredo's clean I run. I don't even like a man sounds bare Asian. He does it. He sounds. You wouldn't. A lot of people didn't didn't yeah, know that that's yeah, what yeah. he looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a lot of people didn't know that's bro. He sounds. He's good, didn't it? Yeah, Do you get yeah, me? Yeah. Obviously, his his sound is. <laughs> nah, his sound is heavily influenced by the black sound and black culture, but that's okay. It's not a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a good thing yeah, that we're influencing yeah, yeah. these people. Like yeah. people, I'm telling you, people's mindset is so naive yeah, and so yeah, and yeah, so yeah. like bad vibes, bro. It's a good thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be young, be young is very very underrated for me. I like be young. I like. I feel like be young. I can play when I'm with a drone. But why? So why don't you feel like why? Be you... young is my man that I slap up. Be young, fucking Bane. So you know why are we not? There? Okay, so do you think right now? Do you feel like right now we don't really see be young on 
on features and that. Do you feel like people are not asking him or do you feel like he's just, say, or he's saying no? I feel like, mm, I feel like I feel he's feel like, not getting asked. Like no. Do you feel like that? Yeah, because I feel like, as an artist, why would you not want to collab with Be Young for a certain tune? I feel like there's some tunes I've heard from certain artists. So like, how come that like, Young, so how come you we know can, like Be Young would have been- So nice how, come, how come we've got him on The Beat Freaks? The Beat Freaks. Um, the Beat Freaks is, is a third party though. That's the third party saying, you two come together, make this tune, I'll pay you a bag. Okay. Any of, who, who's who was going to say no? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, fair yeah, enough, yeah. fair enough. Because I, I always thought they're not asking them, innit? Because yeah, he's yeah. not black. Nah, I don't think so, man. I don't think artists have that mentality, man. <sighs> come on, like, we've all be, we've been around artists our whole lives, man. We know yeah. that artists aren't the type to be like, oh, he's black, man. Oh, he's white, man. I'm not even going to collab with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fair we, enough, fair we, enough. Like, as in, us being around artists, we know that in studio sessions and whatnot, yeah. it's really just off of vibes. Yeah, as in, yeah. Can you vocalize on this yeah. beat? Can you yeah. melodize? Can yeah. you rap? Can you do do do? Yeah. If you can, you're good. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. It's true. It's true. Me? I hear it still. But yeah, no, I hundred percent hear that statement that Be Young is underrated, man. Yeah. A girl said that to me still. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Tyler, the- Tyler the Creator dropped the album of the year. What? Bro, I haven't heard Tyler Creator. Yeah, neither have I, man. Bro, allow it, man. Yeah. Bro, he even said no. Stop, yeah. man. It's not. I heard it's hard, though. I heard it's hard. I have heard. It's yeah, hard. it's hard, but not for me. <laughs> You know, yeah. I used to when I, in school I was a Tyler fan. Nah, man, I got one song of Tyler Creators that I had. It was one, um, Martian. <laughs> it was old school. It was Bear Man, like the video just says Martian. It doesn't even say who's featuring. Tyler's dropped one of my favorite albums of like the 2010s. So I, I won't be that guy to slander Tyler. In it. I like Tyler. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 listen, I didn't listen to him in it. I like that weird old shit. But that's just me having three older brothers, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> like, how am I gonna play that? I'm not allowed. But yeah, like, yeah, nah, I don't really listen to the guy. Do <laughs> yeah. you get me? I respect him. Winning awards, doing these things, just being, I love authentic people. Do you get me? I love that. Yeah, and him just real, being himself. Yeah, real. man. He's like the kind of guy that can come in when we, look at what you wore to the BT awards. Tyler could come here right now and vibe with us. Facts. Yeah. A lot of men can't. A lot of guys that you think would, they yeah. can't. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. now, so I, I, I rate him in it, but as for album of the year, I haven't heard it, so yeah. I can't comment. Um, if you have 10, 10 singles, but none of your albums hit, you're not a good artist. Oh. If you have 10, 10 yeah, singles, but I none agree, of your albums hit, you're not a good artist. I agree, I agree. Uh, the, the reason why I say uh, is that... No, singles live lifetimes. I don't know. I, I disagree. You don't think so? Good. Uh, like good, good. Remember you said good artist, didn't it? Good. No. Oh, is that a good artist? Yeah, you said good. You didn't okay. say great. You didn't say great or amazing. This said good, didn't it? Let's look at the question okay, for what yeah, it is, no, isn't no, no. it? I, I disagree. I then. disagree. Because I feel like you could you can push out 10 solid singles out yeah. all hits yeah none of your projects bang yeah i'm not going to discredit that yeah and 100% in, that just means you're a single person david obra his first project in 2019 <laughs> yeah exactly and he was exactly. making music since 20, 2011 yeah 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 like yeah, yeah. no one's going to ever going to take from him yeah. do you get me so nah I, I i disagree with that point still but i hear it at the same time i hear I it i hear it i hear it at the same time still yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah i don't think i hear it man stormzy needs more respect he's one of the greatest in the uk absolute facts talk to us yeah, 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 obviously like a Nah, you're a gem. What are you doing? What are you bro, doing? Bro, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, you doing? Yeah, you doing? Going off the record, stop, stop. Like, I got bare, bare slander for that. Me saying, oh, bare man, I've done what Stormzy's done. All right, cool. Listen, not bare man, but I feel like give Stormzy Nobody time, has, bro. nobody no, has done it. Give Stormzy time, bro. It's been seven, eight years, Just, bro. And let me, hit, let me tell you something. Because look, bro, years, I made bro. my man, I made, I made my bro come to my Instagram and yeah. retreat and say, I apologize. <laughs> A man said, a man said seven years is yeah. not enough. If you was to give me any bro, artist, any of your favorite artists, and you give me their stretch. You know what is Stormzy, bro? It is just his time. He has had the perfect time to exploit everything. The Glastonbury thing, the projects, all of this that's going on. He's he's made sure, listen, I know this is my time in it, so let me make the most out of it and squeeze all the juice, bro. Bro, Skepta, <laughs> Chip, Dizzy, fucking, all of these man, bro, in his kind of grime category, bro. I'm not saying they've done more than him, but... For what for for when they came up, okay, they done so much, and this is what I'm trying to say. You know this I mean? is what I'm trying I to say like to you. Stormzy no, has had it in his this, path. This is what I'm trying to say to you, bro. bro it's easier. Stormzy, bro. It's easier, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, it's yeah. e- bro. It's easier to say yeah. because it hasn't been done. Yeah. Do you get me? It's easy. It's way easier to say it's because if you're yeah, no, no, it's, it's not about being his time. Obviously, if you've seen all your favorite, all your greats grow up, yeah, and make make a lot of music in their time, and they haven't done Glastonbury, they haven't done all these awards, all these, all no. these Brits. Wait, listen to me, listen to me. And you, you haven't seen it. Of course, you're gonna think that ah, oh, man, Stormzy is just his time. It's easier to think, but bro, if you think about it, there's no reason why. Do you, he can, listen, like, listen, he listen. can. People don't want to accept why. that Stormzy can be that anomaly. No, 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 people are not hearing it because they don't feel like his art is up to that level, bro. No, Stormzy, no, Stormzy, 
Stormzy is that anomaly we have in the UK, bro. Stormzy, huh? What classic sing, single or album? album? Yeah, he's got two classics, bro. You can't tell me that. You cannot tell me that anybody who has dropped two platinum albums has not got a classic. Maybe not for you. Maybe not for me. But there's no way. I don't believe that I mean, the UK. You, when was the last time you heard Heavy is Heavy is ahead? When the other day, bro. And I'm you still not think it's a classic. It's the, it's good. It's good. The, the bar's too low in the UK. Then. Uh, then, okay, firstly, there's no way we're gonna say, it, but there's no way we're gonna give. This. Okay, what it's album? What album. album? What album that came out in the last year? And across all genres, any genre in the whole wide world, yeah, can you say right now it's a classic? None. None. Exactly, that's because that's it's new. Time. Because it's new. Yeah, yeah. So who are you to say that it's not going to be a classic? When when Boy in the Corner came out and was all sitting down, when we was at what, five, six years old? Barely we, enough to understand it. Of course, we didn't think it was going to be a classic yeah. at the time. But guess what? Up until now, this very day, because bro, we've got there. I just don't see for June, bro. Yeah, still yeah. Boy in the corner of course, and I'm saying I just don't see why not an album that went number one that's done by a black man, Give bro. It time. No, but I'm saying no, but I'm saying it's doing all the right. Okay, cool. If you revise for an exam, of yeah. course you'd expect to pass it in it. Yeah. So I'm saying right now, I believe that Storm these albums in the next in the next decade or so will be classified okay. as, a, as a classic Fair album, innit? But, but you're saying you're saying you're basically saying no. I'm, I'm, you're, I'm basically writing it off. Yeah, quick. exactly. But Wait. The reason why I'm saying no is because not yet. Give it time. I just don't. I, I just don't understand why. I just don't also, understand I why. Like Storm, wait, what, what was the dilemma again? The storm. The, the, the dilemma was that Stormzy needs more respect. He's one of the greatest in the UK. I, I, I Jonas, yeah, I, Jonas, I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of hypocritical because I've been one of them guys that did kind of slander Stormzy. But I'll be real. Like Stormzy's so big to the point that everyone's a fan. Of course, Do you know what I mean. And. Obviously, fans are always going to crit criticise and be hypocrites. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like Stormzy still needs his time. And I feel like Stormzy himself even knows this. Do you know what I mean? It's bad. It's, it's not even been 10 years. That's why Chip was so confident to go against him. Because he knows, bro, you're still a little man. All right, cool. You're still a little I get, man. Like I said, you see life. Life is all about perspective, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. The yeah. first thing you said, Stormzy is so big where everyone's a fan. I believe that Stormzy is so big, whereas no one wants to be a fan anymore because he's that big. Black mm -hmm. people don't... We want the <laughs> underdog, bro. We don't want to support the guy at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why no one wants to be a fan anymore. When Stormzy first came into the game, oh my God, if you want to see you dick riding, bro, yeah, that is what you call yeah, dick. Yeah. I'm thinking raw. Obviously, I liked him, innit? Do you get me? Because he yeah. came alongside Section Boy. Section Boy is yeah. one, one of my favorites ever in it so people are dick riding then of course since she seems to get bigger and bigger and bigger because he's taking all the right steps being yeah. authentic putting yeah. his mum in the video yeah. done the adidas thing doing all kinds of songs all, all right cool quick question before i carry on with what i'm saying name me a feature that you've heard storms on that he's ruined none not across none, any none, genre none, bro none, none because the guy storms is not a feature guy Exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he ruins none. Do you get me? So of course, of, and it doesn't make any sense. We've got all our all-time favorites, Skepta, yeah, Dizzy, yeah. Kano, all these guys, they have not seen, bro, they've just about even seen half no, of the no, heights. No. Okay, cool. That's what I was going to address in it. Yeah. I was going to say, fam, you have to understand that grime is a 15, 20, 15 approaching 20 year genre. Isn't yeah. It? Bro, like, as in the steps have already been, the, 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 the um, the process has already been made for Stormzy yeah. at the time Glastonbury, yeah. he done Glastonbury. Do you know what I mean? But so, why? So, I don't, so, so I don't, I'm not happy that so you keep, time, I'm not happy that no, you keep saying that. Though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy. I feel like Graham was already big enough for the masses for him but to kind of headline but it. But Graham was dead though. I don't understand. Well, okay, he brought it back. Credits to Stormzy, he brought it back in it. But let's be real, all of that stuff that was done before. So basically, him, what you're saying, that no, that's him, dead, man. That's, that's, that's dead. That's, that's dead. That's dead. So basically, what what you're trying to say right now is that basically everybody laid the bed for Stormzy to lie. Yes. What the hell? No, so if they, so tell me, so tell Stormzy got it himself. He so did get it himself. Yeah, he did get it himself. I'm not taking that away from him. But you can't deny the fact that all of these grime greats that did lay the path for him the, the 15 years prior. They helped that happen. No, bro. Because Grime wouldn't be, he wouldn't be where he is without Grime. That's basically like you saying right now that you believe that Pele and Pele and all these man, Zidane, all the guys that yeah. came prior, Badger, all these lot, they're the ones that laid the foundation for Ronaldo and Messi. No, to be man. And that's basically what you're that's saying. Not, you're not giving a man his. You're not giving a man. You're not giving a man his props. <laughs> it's not fair. Bro, who are you to say? Who are you to say that though? Who sees the who, moment? Who? No, he it's not about. I don't. Really do you know what I'm not? Do you know what I'm? Do you know what? Nah, man. What the hell? Bro, to me, yeah, Stormzy is a very not not only is he a, a musician, yeah, but he's a smart businessman. He knew that Grime, he he brought Grime back, and he knew that Grime is the new cool thing for the kids, in it. Bro, the white do you know what? You, do you, so, know, what do you know, you know what? Grime is now fifteen years deep. It's got its longevity now. Yeah, let me headline this guy. Do you know thing. what you call season the moment? What season the moment is? J Huss. J Huss. 
came into the scene as a rapper, by the way. You know, J Huss was yeah, rapping yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. J Huss sees the moment. What yeah. was popping in 0- 014, 015? Afro swing. Afro swing. Yeah. J Huss is, that's what you call Carpe Diem, bro. That's what you call seizing a moment. He came in and he took that sound and he ran with it because that sound was at all time high. Mm. That's what I call seizing a moment. Mm. How can I call seizing a moment for a genre that nobody was listening to, bro? You you come into a dying yeah. art, bro. I'm telling you, I get what by you're the saying. Way, Skepta brought it back just before Stormzy did. Before no, he, but Skepta, before, Skepta, before, Skepta before, he, before he had that. No, he didn't. Skepta oh Skepta my God. Back. No, it's Skepta Skepta before. Back. Look at what I'm saying. Do you know what, do you know why this is yeah. so good? Because this just shows, it shows what, how much Glastonbury means to Silla. Because he keeps saying it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. St- you started to associate Skepta with that grand where, where Skepta was, boy, better know, bringing it back. Tracksuit Ravia. That's 016. That's 016. Bro, remember back in the day, he was wearing designer, bro. Yeah, he said yeah. he had to throw all that shit away. Mm-hmm. He only jumped back onto the grand thing 016. Yeah. Soon as he came into the game at 014. Yeah. Allow it, Silla. It's not mm-hmm. fair. I get it, it's and easier. I remember, I remember there was one moment, and I'll be real, where people were debating whether Stormzy was rap or gram. And he 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 went towards the grandpa. Come on, man. I'm telling you, I get it. I hear it because it's not normal. Anything that's not normal, anything that's if I said to you right now, I said I've got a mill on my bank account, you're gonna be like, huh? Mm. It's not what Stormzy has done, it is not normal, bro. Mm. It is not normal. And as much as like for a music head like me and you, it's not, normal. It's it not, not it hurt, normal. It might hurt us to say because it's like raw. Because I know that I've got yeah. like ten rappers that I feel like should be better than Stormzy and yeah, bigger than Stormzy, yeah. but they're not, innit? They're yeah, not. Yeah. But no, that's obviously they ain't played their cards right. Of course it. No, they haven't been as lucky. Yeah, Stormzy, yeah. no, Stormzy is lucky, innit? Do you get me? Because no, no, but no, 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 not. But I'm saying lucky, like because. How can I say it's not luck when I've never seen this before, innit? Do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, like, yeah, I've never yeah, seen yeah, it before. Yeah, it has yeah, to be, yeah. like, obviously he's very good. Don't get me wrong. He's yeah, very yeah, good, but yeah. I've never seen it before. Yeah. I can't, like, I can't say it's not luck, innit? I've never seen it before, but the guy is but very, no, very no, talented, like, man. What I'm saying, innit? My final point is, is that the foundations were laid for him to do the greater things. I disagree. As in, because of the, the genre is ever evolving. I disagree. Uh, because where's the genre now? It's yeah, nowhere. Yeah, yeah. It's unless, nowhere. Unless Stormzy comes back. It's, it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's nowhere. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, man. That's that's the Stormzy. That's the Stormzy little rant. Um, UK rap. UK female rap is shit, and they should all stop. No, no, no. no. That's unfair. I, I f- <laughs> no, do you know why I say that's unfair? It's because I feel like oh, the UK female rappers can rap better than the US rappers. US female rappers, except for Nicki, who still got mad skill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And obviously, you got the little ones like Rap City and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, nah, because UK female rappers, they're the ones rapping, rapping now. The man them are the ones melodizing. So I can't really say that UK female rappers are shit because I can't. I hear a lot of bars from them, like bars, as in there's some underground girls like SB and. Have you got, like, have, you got like, have you got like a punchline or something that stuck with you like? No, no, nah, nah, like. Yeah, you got you got anything? Nah. Oh. Okay. No, but I don't mean nothing though. I know a lot of girls, man. No, 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 I'm just, I, mate, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just bro, trying I to have a- I know some cold female rappers, uh, yeah, but a lot of them like do, do us a lot, innit? Mm-hmm. And I think the West, West, you know what I mean? Like I said, innit, before on our platform fam, like- You know, it, yeah. Rap is WWE, innit? Yeah, it's all yeah, entertainment, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's like, I like my hardcore rapping it. A yeah. lot of girls are doing that yeah, now, so. Yeah. Oh, that statement was very harsh. You know, they should not yeah, all stop. Harsh, not harsh. not even trying to do a pick me thing. Nah, because I don't care. I'll slander any woman I want. But <laughs> but they shouldn't stop. They're, they're good. They're on the rise. Yeah. I feel like the bigger it gets in America, the bigger it gets in the UK, innit? Which is sad. Not yes, really, yes, 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 yes. Mm. Bro, the bigger female rap gets in America, yeah. the bigger, like, Bro, yeah, we yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah do you understand? Yeah, 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 when yeah, we yeah, seen the whole right. the whole stripper era yeah. coming out with Cardi B and that and City Girls, they're trying to you've seen how in. IVD and all these lot, Steph London, trying to, I you know, mean, yeah. yeah. Do you get me? So it's it's on the rise, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't feel like they're all shit. They're good. A lot of them can spin man them. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, Steph, Steph London can spin a lot of man. Steph can spin. Steph London can spin a lot of man. You'll be so surprised. But but yeah, that was a very that was very harsh, very harsh statement. Training day three is the best mixtape to ever come out of the UK. No. Next man, next man. What the? I'm not even gonna discuss that. Don't man. you know who you are? I'm not even gonna say your name. Don't ever next say that man. again. No rapper in history can. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna just gonna get you excited. No rapper in history can chat to Jay Z because he was able to make palatable music from '95 to 2021. False. False. Yeah, yeah. False. 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 '95. Let me true. let me give the people a quick hip hop breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, cause obviously, get me. We're young, innit? So a lot of the time we weren't there for Jay Z's when he was at the top, at the, top. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, research all of that, like from what man listened to and all of that. 
Drake, um, sorry, Drake, you know, Jay Z was never actually on top of the game mm. at any point in his career. Nigga was a songwriter, if you bro. Know. Do you know what I mean? He was writing everyone's songs. Like he he was a ghost, a serious ghostwriter. Mm. So, 95 to 2021, from 95 2000, bro, you had Eminem, DMX, bro, Biggie, Pac, mm. do you know what I mean? During mm. his time, mm. 2000, 2005, you had fucking Nelly, mm. you had fucking. Bro, you had Nelly, you had Ludacris, mm. you had even Eminem, Fifty, Z, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 20, one. Then twenty ten, twenty five, two thousand six, two thousand ten, Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. You get me? Yeah, yeah. Them man there, yeah. 2010 to now. Jay Z was never at the Drake, top. Drake, Jay Z, Jay Z was just that guy that yeah. he could always, you know, them, them kind of guys that just always jump in every. Yeah. Crypto, no, no, he, because um, no disrespect in it, but Crypto and Conan have always found yeah, a way yeah, to yeah, always yeah. fit in in every Stay single. Relevant. Yeah, and Jay Z was that. Don't get me wrong, relevant sounds harsh because it means yeah. that you might be just copying the sound, but now nah, Jay Z done his own thing. Yeah. But Jay Z just was just that guy whose mind, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Maybe. was more. It was more mind over yeah, talent for yeah, me with Jay Z yeah. in it. He always found a way to be able to just stay, stay relevant, yeah, stay, yeah, stay yeah, yeah. in that place. Even it's even a thing where like Jay Z managed to stay relevant outside of music. Well, yeah, when man left Rockefeller, man became the president of Def Jam. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, left Def Jam to do Rock Nation. Yeah, Rock Nation title. Duh, 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 yeah, duh, duh. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, yeah. Jay Z, he's my goal. Isn't he's it? another. He's another. Blade Brown in the sense of like, see the Trini brought up with DJ Khaled and Nas, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's more like, wow, it's Jay-Z. Yeah, this feels like, like Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah, like, it's more yeah. like, wow, this billionaire, like, yeah. now come to rap for us again. Like, yeah. I'm going to take in all these bars, like, yeah. whereas like, if it was like 10 years ago, you wouldn't feel like that. <laughs> but it's like, funny because Jay-Z's never been on top at any point in yeah, his career. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he's regarded as the GOAT yeah. of all time. 100%. So. And I feel like that ties in due to the image he has of himself now, yeah. innit? 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, but facts, yeah, facts. nah. So that statement is void. Why do men hate women? Why do men hate women rapping, rapping about their pussy and embracing being a baddie? I don't. No, I don't, man. Do your thing, man. Yeah, I, I, just I, don't I love. To it. I I can't relate. Yeah, but you know what? You know what's crazy? A couple city girl songs have caught me. No, uh, bro. I'm I'm not afraid. I'm, the first time I'm not it, afraid. A couple, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a couple of just. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's JT can spit. You know. No. As in them lot are bouncy, bro. JT can spit. Them maybe not. Spit. Maybe not young Miami, but I know that JT every woman can spit, bro. So she catches me. Real, like we said about Sweetie, a yeah. couple City Girl songs, Cardi. Nikki. Yeah, yeah. They catch me, and then, bro, on a block, and I'm up. and I'm screwing. <laughs> Niggas, I think I'm listening to Drew, and I'm just screwing. But they they catch me still. I can't lie. So nah, a lot a lot of guys do hate it. I hear it in it because I know. It but, is, it is a they, majority, yeah, bro. because they look at every female as their wife. Yeah, Stop yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Let. Yeah, yeah. Females be free. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if, if a female rapper says she wants to hoe out, hoe out. Let's just, just a hot girl summer, bro. It's been yeah. COVID for like, what, 18 months, bro? What yeah, the hell? Bro, you can do nah, what you want to do. I'm never mad it. at the bad bitch shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Bad I don't mind it. If it's not bitch. for me, it's not for me. But yeah, no, I don't mind it either still. I can't lie. Yeah. I genuinely believe Huss is the goat of UK music disregarding lyricism. I, firstly, let's start backwards. <sighs> why, why are you disregarding lyricism? This is what I'm trying to say. I've, had, I've Wait, said this like seven disregarding lyricism yeah they're basically trying to say that he has he's not a lyricist which is bullshit because I, like i said people think lyricism is lord of the mics yeah, yeah. that's I not that's not lyricism bro yeah yeah that's yeah, that, yeah. that's not necessarily sorry yeah. that's not the only lyricism available to us till today like i said being a lyricist has been able to portray an image in a man's mm-hmm, head mm-hmm. and jay huss can do that in I, various I, I, ways i said it i don't want to be a hypocrite in it because i said jay huss are most like aren't lyricists yeah i just feel like they can rap really well yeah 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 i feel yeah. like jay huss though he every line it's just mad. Yeah. Like, oh, I went to the shop and I linked the juju man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went back to the mother like, line. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's, for, very, it's not, being, being a lyricist is not his strong point. For example, like, like Rich. he's got conviction. Yeah, Rich, Rich. Yeah. Being a lyricist is his strong point. Yeah. Like, when you look at Rich, you associate him with lyricism. Whereas mm. Jay Huss, you associate Jay Huss with vibes, innit? So yeah. that's why lyricism would, like, kind of come under. But it's like, I'll, I'll be fair, when Jay Huss does spit, he raps really well, innit? Yeah. It? But I feel like it's still not, lyrical uh. it's just conviction yeah yeah and it's I conviction like lyrical, he means it yeah 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 i might have to disagree with you i feel like lyrical like i feel like you paint a picture in your head don't mean you're lyrical i feel like it just means you can rap really well in it that's what rap's about but lyrics though what's it but if lyrics, you break I down feel like, i feel like intricacy like as nah, in, if you're intricate i'm not a, saying i'm not saying view, i'm not saying man. like like as in the rhyme scheme is this and that like lyrical miracle i mean like as in like as in you're smooth with how you tell it Mm. and it's easy to digest yeah and you make it come across easy yeah. but 
you're still spitting a kind of story. Uh, do you know what I mean? You're taking uh, us on your yeah, path. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, Jay Ross does that, but yeah. it's, it's not lyrical. <sighs> it's conviction. So, as in, he's got passion with it. I, I, I get it, innit? Yeah. I hear it. I could understand why someone wouldn't throw him under that category. Yeah. I hear it, but I just feel like, for me, innit? I just feel like, when I look at lyrics, lyrics pain I look isn't at, lyricism. I look that's at, one you don't feel like it's lyricism. Pain, pain isn't lyricism. Pain isn't lyricism. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of guys would associate that with lyricism, yeah, innit? Nah. I look at lyrics, I look at words, innit? Yeah. Being able to dissect words. When you look at, when you read a book, when you're reading a book, the book is meant to create an image in your head. Mm. You're meant to be imagining like, wow, this 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 scene, like what's actually going on? Like, bro, like I know every single person subconsciously, when you're reading a book, every, you paint a fe- mm. you paint an image of what you feel like that female looks like. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel like that's what bars should do. Like when you're hearing a song sometimes in earphones, it's yeah. like, bro, I was on a ride, like fuck, you was in a black mm. Astra. Like that's what it should do. So I feel like, Jay Huss does that. If you if you break it down that easy, then everyone does it. But not yeah. a lot of people do it because sometimes people talk about the same stuff. So and that's the difference. Like, yeah, where Jay Huss go, where goes Huss deeper is the conviction. Yeah, it's true. Really, every line I hear it. I like, hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear yeah. it. I hear it. So I'm gonna do one more before we wrap up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. One more is the last one. I'm gonna pick. Real rap is in general is boring and less palatable than other forms of rap. Yeah. Facts. Fam, I can't lie. I was that guy where, bruv, up until like two years ago, I don't want to hear nothing that's not rap, rap. Mm. I don't want to hear no melodies, no mm. Afro swing, no Afro beats, no nothing. Rap. Mm. <laughs> but I'll be real, bro. It, it is boring, bro. Uh, it, it is boring. Uh, I only listen to that in my spare time. Yeah. If I'm out traveling or whatnot, I want to listen to vibes. That's something yeah. that keep me away. Yeah. I can't yeah. listen to fucking training day for yeah. fucking Yeah, yeah. Hours, <laughs> that shit is boring. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not real rap. I'm not real rap on the tour. Yeah, man. Yeah. man like, get me. When I'm out, I'm listening to drill, I'm listening to yeah. Afrobeats, yeah. wherever it is. Man's life is too, man, my, my life personally is too happy to be listening to just real rap. Yeah, it, like, as me. in, we, we all, bro, do you know what is here? I'll be real. Like, I feel like when you come from a certain area, like when, when you come from where we come from, yeah. it's like, we don't want to be hearing um, the same stuff. Gritty stories. Yeah, we want to grow. Like that's just gonna keep you on the block. I don't want to stay on the end. You have to blossom. You get bro. me? Yeah, hundred percent. And like, you don't blossom by listening to, to the shit same that stuff. Man, are experiencing like riding out. A man is yeah, bro. A man's giving me six mixtapes and they're all the same stuff. And Come it's, on, it's all about your ghetto. Is that why you came into the music game? It don't make no sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. I don't want to hear like real rap is all about ghetto stories. I don't want to be hearing that all the time. Hundred mm, percent. Only about. Core of the time I'm listening yeah. to all rap. Yeah. Everything yeah. else is kind of split up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, I hear that still. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, it's been a good one. I appreciate all of you lot. Yeah. Big up all of you lot for sending me your dilemmas, nice, man. Nice. I can't lie. There was a lot. We couldn't even get through all of them. But yeah. it's been amazing, man. You get me? It's been another episode of a breezy with comes the yes, way of yes. flash. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. on the record. Catch us off the record tomorrow. <laughs> this is not gonna come out tomorrow, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> off the record, we back seven to eight via Link Up TV on the hub. Be there, be square. Flash, what are you saying? Go the on, block man. report Come is on. coming back. Go block on. report. Hey, I can't lie, highly anticipated, but it's coming back real soon. I hope y'all niggas got your goodie Ooh. bag. I got my goodie. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> block report soon. Come, yeah, you know what I mean? Are, man. Soon come are, man. Watch off the record every Wednesday, seven to eight pm. Link wow, up man. TV, Cold Drinks podcast, Flashy Silla on everything on all socials. Wow, wow. Yeah. This is the last episode. In the soapbox in this venue. I'm happy I got it. Oh, I got one yeah, here. Yeah, man. We're ending on a bang, an amazing episode, man. It's been amazing, but we're getting on to bigger and better. You know how we do it, man, always. Yes. But yeah, man. Appreciate what comes to episode eight. Over and out. The sound of the streets and I with a beat. Bow. Bow.